Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a succulent tour going on what's on my propagation station, well, station, my two trays, and uh, what's on my windowsill too. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so we're going to start down here in the first of my propagation tray. So down here we actually have a two-headed, uh, that's an Echeveria pearl von Nuremberg. And what I find quite interesting is that it's got, you know, one green head, and one purple one, you know, they get this, obviously the same amount of sunlight, they're joined together, but um, yeah, two different colours, which is really cool. The leaf died off, I had the, this one outside, and uh, the leaf sort of started to dry up, and the roots sort of dried up, so um, I'm just sort of hoping that he'll come back. I'm waiting for new roots to sort of come out, but that's all that's sort of on there right now, so I'm just sort of leaving him to it spraying him every few days and just sort of seeing how he goes and then i've got a bunch of um of pacavera shadecri leaves so like all of these so i'll show you those in a second there's one that i plucked off last week um because i sent it a bunch of uh in a suck swap and i plucked this one off too and he's grown really quickly this has actually been about a week and a half and then next to it, this is my Pachyphytum oviferum, the Moonstones. And then next to it, I'm pretty sure it's the Golden Sedum. Um, I have the mother plant up on my windowsill, so I'll show you that in a second and you'll have to let me know. And then there's another Moonstones next to it. And then I've got one, two, three, four, and then I've got a fifth one over there. These are my Crash Levata tricolor, my Jade. And I pulled a couple of them out actually recently. They've all got roots that started uh, producing a new shoot, which is really cool. And then over here is all the rest of the Shideku leaves. I traded some of these too. And then on the second tray, these are just more Pearl von Nuremberg leaves. Um, it really elated in like the first month and a half that I bought it. And these are all the very like top leaves that sort of were, I don't want to say deformed, but they were sort of like starting to arch over, like you can see over here, they weren't forming properly because they were trying to catch as much light as possible. Um, but I, you know, pulled them off when I topped it, so I thought I'd pop them in and see if I could get any more. They're not looking too successful right now, but we'll see. And those are the really, really small ones. Um, that is a, is a Calancari Tomentosa leaf. Um, that fell off in transport, so I just popped it in and see if it would do anything. Um, these four leaves here are my Echeveria agavoids. Um, when I repotted it, I just ripped a few of the bottom leaves off because it was sort of like a, a few of them had died, so it just sort of made the shape look a bit weird. So I just took a few off, um, and they didn't take the, they didn't come off cleanly. But I tracked them on there anyway to see if they'll do anything. Which they haven't yet, but they haven't died either, so that's um, sort of hopeful. And then in here I've got a little Um I've got the rest of them up there, that was just a little one that had like come straggling, and I thought I'd pop him in and see if he, if he did alright. And then I've got two little aloe pups there, and then I've got one, two, three, uh, four, five. These actually came from two of my aloe vera plants um, that got root rot from some store-bought succulent mix that I bought when I first started buying succulents and I'll explain that in another video um, but basically all the roots have died off so now they're here basically trying to develop roots and they're gradually getting there you can see obviously they've dried out a few times they've got a little bit of dry leaves dead leaves going on but um, yeah they're finally starting to root a little and they're starting to come through healthier again um, I've got more <laughs> more of the tricolour leaves and my jade. This is a candelabra aloe that I actually got fairly recently. Um, I think in the last month or so, it's pretty cool. And then up here, this is one of the aloes that got um, root rot. You can see it's still quite like dark on the ends here and on like here, whereas it's nice and green in the middle. Um, and it's the same for the other one too. But you can see all these new pups coming through so it looks quite healthy. And again the same, this was my um, variegated aloe, my uh, 
I think it's partridge crest or something. The new growth is coming through beautifully, but the rest of the leaves haven't really filled back out yet, but we'll just have to wait and see. And then these are more Calencoes. These are the Calencoe Digramontia, I believe. These are actually the smaller ones. I, these I got in a, a, a suck swap as well with a friend on Facebook. Um, these are actually the little babier ones. The bigger ones, I've got three planted up together over here. This is my Thanksgiving cactus, which I've had for quite a while. It's literally tripled in size since I bought it. This is my uh, Pacavaria Shadecri. It's got 11 babies on it. And how long is More down here. I don't know if you can see them because the light is quite bad, but there's more down there. That's a Sempervivum that I actually found in the wild. This one, I'm just gonna have to turn it. I think the label's on here. No, the label's on this one. It's the Kalinkoe. Oh God, I can't pronounce that. Laterins, maybe? Kalinkoe Laterins. That was one of the little babies I got sent with it. And I think this is my golden seed, and I'm not 100% sure, you're gonna have to let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the golden seed, and there's another aloe plant. This one actually um, had a, maybe like two or three roots on it, so that was all right. And there's my red hot poker. It's another aloe. And then behind there, I have my Worthia. I can't remember the name, I'll put it in the video for you. And my Catelodon uh, Tomentosa, which is the Bevels. It's a rooted cutting and it's taken quite nicely. I got that one on eBay in the previous video. Here's my Agavoids. He's recovering really nicely. He got quite sunburnt at the beginning of the heat wave, which started, I think, three months ago, which is lasting to October, which is fun. <laughs> and here's my Moonstones plant, my Bacophyum oviferum. And then here is the Kalinkari Lucky Bells. This is another one that I got in a succulent swap. And here is the other aloe that got root rot, but as you can see, he's recovering really nicely. But yeah, you see here, yeah, these leaves just didn't quite survive. That's one of the tops of my uh, Pacavaria Shadecri. And then the other one is over here, because it, it had two heads on it. This is my Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg, which I topped as well, and that's got two little heads growing on it now. Over here, my string of buttons, my variegated Crashula Perforata which you saw in the last video, as well as the Aeonium Hawaii Varigata, which is also called Kiwi. It's got quite a bit of damage because they bruise quite easily, and obviously it was sent over, it was trans um, shipped, so it got quite damaged, but he's recovering. New growth's pretty healthy, so he's fine. Here's the mother of the uh, Crashula, the Jade Tricolor. Gorgeous, I love this one. And then more of the Wild Sympathy from that I took. These actually grow on my garden wall. The top of the Pearl von Nuremberg. This was actually um, a leaf propagation that was growing inside here that I took out and put it up. My Kalinkoe, no, yeah, my Kalinkoe Tomodosa. Panda is gorgeous. The bottom leaves are drying up, but I think that was just because he came bare root. Um, so whilst he's putting out new roots, he's not really being able to produce enough water to the bottom leaves, but we'll see how he recovers. And then here is my, this is Crassula, this is my Crassula Sarmentosa, variegated. And then here is my Kalinkoe Fedshenkoi, I think. That's how you say it. This is very pretty. Okay guys, so that is all I have for you today. Um, I will be back in a few days with a succulent unboxing actually. I have um, two parcels I think coming in, either today or tomorrow. Um, they're actually succulent swaps with friends of mine on Facebook. Um, so yeah, I hope you look forward to that. Um, if you did like what you saw today, please do like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on uh, Instagram or Snapchat, it's at Kyrie's on Snapchat or um, at Kai Sucks on Instagram. Thanks for watching guys, bye.